Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to use a website called Prezi. And if you haven't heard of it, what it is is a zooming PowerPoint presentation type deal. So this is my personal account of Prezi's I've made. So I just want to show you what all it can do and this is a good um, a little example. I'm just going to click through it really fast. This is a project I did for a worldview class on Lord of the Rings with a couple friends. So what it allows you to do is zoom around um, a background picture or a color and move around. And this is basically what Prezi can do and zoom around. Uh, to help get your point across and all that. They're often used in a lot of classes anymore, as well as professional presentation situations. And it also allows you to add multiple photo layers. So when you zoom in further, you then enter a new photo layer of your background. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you will need to go to Prezi.com. You'll click the Get Started button. Come over to the free account. When you have a free account, then all your Prezi's are publicly visible. You have no control over if it's private or not. I'm going to just fill this out. Once I am done, I will click Create Your Free Public Account. Once you have created a account, Prezi will show you the basics and you can continue editing the one they give you just for further playing around with Prezi. But to show you everything, I am going to create my own new Prezi. And then a page like this will load and you can scroll through the ones they give you immediately. You can also look up more. I'm going to use this one. If you don't like any of the templates, you can start a blank Prezi. What they have here is a preset of where all your slides will go. You can also choose to move them elsewhere. Let's say you need more slides than what they give you. Then you can add a frame just by clicking up here and it adds it to right after whichever one you were just on, I think. But you can also rearrange the path. So if I want it to happen after it zooms out, then I can do that. I can edit the path you can also have some form of animation happen just by clicking the edit path and then click on the star. You can apply a fade in effect, but that is the only effect they give you. Unfortunately, you're kind of limited effects wise because most of the effects are from the zooming in and around and out and whatnot. So I'm going to be done uh, editing the path. You can add text, this type of online uh, presentation stuff is pretty easy to use. Uh, you can insert a image, you can insert symbols and shapes, you can even insert YouTube videos. Um, you can add layouts and they have single frame as well as multi-frame layouts to help you get the point that you want across. You can also highlight things, you can also add background music, and you can even insert slides from a PowerPoint. So if you want to upgrade a PowerPoint you just made and be able to zoom around and add a few more things, you can do that in Prezi. You can even customize the theme by clicking up here. You can also make your background a picture. You can add multiple photo layers in your Prezi. So to do that, you will come down to the advanced button. You'll come over to the 3D background and click edit. Then you can upload uh, up to three photo layers. So this time I actually will use a weird picture of me. I'd rather embarrass myself. And then I will click done in the advanced area and you can adjust the theme colors and whatnot. Once you're done, then you'll click done. If you zoom in far enough, then the picture changes, except I have awkwardly zoomed in on my own shirt. Uh, I zoom out and then it, we get the original picture that I started with. Otherwise, it is pretty simple to use um, and understand and it's not overly complex. So we're going to egg exit our presentation. It will exit and save automatically. Let's get into the account settings. 
I'm gonna go over to the profile page. If you want to add a picture, I believe it pulls your a picture. You can insert a profile picture via a site called Gravatar, and I'll put a link to that down below. So that was a brief overview of how to use Prezi. If you have any further questions about how to use it, you can leave me comments down below, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click on these red subscribe buttons to subscribe to the respective channels. And as always, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.